All right, so it's on. Welcome everybody. This, this is going to be a video that was requested, sort of. Um, someone within the comments requested that I show some links to where you can find remote jobs or work at home jobs. So I have a list, I've a, compiled a list of different uh, websites that I've saved, bookmarked, um, that uh, I use sometimes to try to find these jobs, these work from home jobs. Now I have to be honest with you, most of these work from home jobs are going to have to do with uh, customer service and many of them is, is chatting, communicating with people and typically you would have to communicate with people it would probably be like a full-time job and you have to communicate with people for like eight hours a day and it gets really annoying but at the same time there are some jobs out there where it is part-time or there's some jobs out there where you don't really have to communicate uh, through a headset but you communicate through just typing or through emails and then there's jobs where you can communicate through typing and emails and it'll be part-time now so let me just start off with the first website that i always talk about and that is rat race rebellion um friend put me up on this years ago i do i do use it um very frequently when i'm trying to find some 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 type of job that's work from home and i typically just click on newest jobs and gigs oh by the way i'm going to um, put all the links within the description so everybody can look at them and view it view them themselves so they can see if they can find any opportunities so they can earn i don't know a full-time job or you know just a part-time job and stuff like that um so this is the work from home jobs that ended in the um the date of may 14 2020 uh, and there's a number of these jobs again many of these jobs are going to be customer care customer service stuff like that you know because you see customer service reps and you probably have to talk on the phone all the time I noticed that a lot of them some of them pay pretty well but the ones that pay really well I actually uh, I actually applied to one of these jobs that paid pretty well paid like maybe like hmm somewhere around like $14 an hour but I was never able to actually fill it out because they just <laughs> they just allow anybody to come in um, and then you have to choose an interview time but the thing is since there's so many such, such a surplus amount of people that are, have to choose interview times um, they usually run out so I never had the chance to choose an interview time therefore I never had the chance to actually accept the job offer or at least do the interview and then possibly get the job offer but Rat Race Rebellion yes this is a good uh, good website to find things see they also have if anybody's bilingual they speak English and Spanish you know that's also they also have jobs for bilingual people let's go to the next one which is remote habits now with remote habits I just actually saved it as web developer but you can delete it and let's see what are going to be the top things that are asked for at this moment so just for remote working jobs you see lead product designer senior designer QA okay I think a lot of these are just developer jobs <laughs> so if you're a developer or a designer this is the great website for you um, let me see if there's other jobs Ooh, entry level developer when did this come out I'm sorry um, let me let me stay focused a little bit so anybody that's a developer or a designer this might be the right one for you let's go to another one telecommute telecommute jobs now this should be one that's good for people who are looking for anything from online teaching to education and training to computer and IT I think this is going to be a good website for a lot of people people who don't really have any information I mean not information any type of education or certification in like careers and stuff like that you can find lots of customer see you already see customer service representatives and stuff like that and if you do have some type of career and have a degree in something you can definitely find stuff like if you just hit software development you can definitely find lots of software development jobs um, let me go to computer IT uh, and it and it also tells you I think it tells you it used to tell you when it was posted 
there was a point in time it told you when it was posted um, so you see product manager product support specialist let's see let's see edu let's go to education and training I never hit way here speech language pathologist for any speech language pathologist you should go on this website because this will be right up your alley um, oh look at this and they also have locations locations and stuff but it doesn't really matter because you're supposed to be remote jobs um, I think this is a really good job if you have also if you're trying to find like customer service type jobs let's go to the next one the next one is going to be flex professionals now flex professionals and this one all flex jobs are basically trying to copy flex jobs and flex jobs is flex job is obviously going to be better but the problem is with flex job is you have to pay there is some type of subscription um, that you have to pay I forgot how much you have to pay let me see here I know I just breezed past these two but let me just go back to just let me just go to flex jobs for a second here um, flex jobs this is where you'll find a lot of different a variety of different types of jobs but there is a paywall and you have to do some type of subscription service in order to gain access to these jobs um, I'm trying to find what the paywall is or what the subscription price is uh, how flex job works professional jobs reasons shows. I'm sorry I just can't find it as quick but I know there's there is some type of subscription service and I never really used it because I never wanted to pay so yeah there's that but flex jobs flex professionals and all flex jobs are pretty much similar to that except they're free it's filmer to flex jobs except they're free but they have a limited amount of jobs compared to flex jobs right so all you got to do is um yeah you know find jobs and you know typically what i did was try to look for web developer jobs but let's try to look for customer service maybe i could find customer service jobs here oops and this spell it right let's see if i can find any customer service and i can't find shit wow um let's see all fso part-time director of finance accounting clerk software engineer paralegal wordpress developer part-time april 17 2020 these are very dated let me see what was the, the most recent one may 12th i don't even know what fso is so i think this is very limited um but all flex jobs i think is a little bit better let's just see here but again a lot of these jobs a lot of these places i actually saved or specifically because i was trying to find like developer jobs let's try to find customer service um telecommute service let's see where this is. so this is from indeed this is from career builder career builder remote co here's another here's a tip I never really shared you should never really try when you're trying to find apply for jobs you shouldn't really try to apply for like jobs that are in big name job boards like indeed or career builders you should go for lesser known job places like remote.co or places that you rarely hear about um, I think that's a good tip to talk about if you're trying to get these uh, get get less competition and have a higher likelihood of getting employed so here's a customer representative's job at Al Clara. Um, it's not telling me the amount of pay, but definitely all flex jobs is way better than flex professionals. And flex jobs in general is better than both of them, but there is, you do have to pay some type of amount. And I, for some reason, it's hard for me to find it. And you would think it would just be here right in my face but I can't find it the next one I wanted to show is playtest cloud so apparently this is one of these services where you test video games out on devices like a smartphone or you know like a tablet and I think you get paid $11 per 30 minutes of playtime for a particular game so if anybody likes playing video games on their smartphone or on the tablet this would also be good another thing another place I go to is remote jobs on reddit 
Um, now, to be fair here, lots of these jobs, lots of them, are just like developer jobs and engineering jobs, to be completely fair here. But at the same time, there are some jobs that are available. I think there's like a work remotely thing I saved. Did I ever save that? Work online. That's another one. Work online. Is it? Uh, yeah, sometimes like within these posts, they give out certain links to places you should go to if you're trying to find uh, a particular position. So I think work online is also good. There's probably plenty of other ones. Uh, here's here's actually helpful subreddits, beer money, ways to earn small amounts of money uh, and stuff like that. Other Only other thing I also do if, if I try to find remote jobs, um, I just say remote jobs <laughs> and like Google pulls up or compiles a list of remote jobs um, and then I can go into date posted and I say past three days what are the past three days of where it talks about remote anything and then you can look and see that some have customer success specialist and administrative assistant and phone interviewer phone interview wow 100% remote I wonder how much they pay interesting oh yeah one more thing before I go so I actually am employed remotely I'm actually employed remotely and what I'm, I'm employed by is next rep a friend tipped me off about this about this company um, because I told her that I don't want to do too many phone I don't want to do phone jobs anymore I want to do something chat based and she told me that this job has chat based um, jobs so I signed up for it and luckily they, they accepted me and technically I'm working for NextRep and their client is Instacart. And within Instacart, I'm basically a chat customer agent and I make $10 an hour. Now, a lot of people say, oh, that's not a lot, but man, compared to just uh, doing just phone service jobs or phone care jobs where you might make $14 an hour but you completely get your brain is just fried after eight hours you're just talking to people constantly I think this chat based job is way better you can choose your own hours the minimum amount of hours you have to make is like 20 hours and I have to be honest um, for the last four days I was working on this job I haven't actually received any chats from customers at all but nonetheless I got paid now at the same time this also makes me worried because I naturally think that since I'm not getting too many chats from customers I might get laid off because since we're not being of use maybe they're just going to just cut the whole team off that's a possibility but before that happens or if that never happens I still want to just talk about next rep um, within that within applying you should definitely Put it, there's an option within the within an application where they ask you if you want to do home if you want to do phone based jobs or email based jobs or or um, chat based jobs check click all of them click all of them because there might be a position for chat based there might not be so you should just click all of them and if you can find if there is an interview that you get and they ask if you know how to do chat based jobs just say yeah I like to do a chat based job and then you can do that and make ten dollars an hour it's not a lot but it's better than nothing other than that those are all the things I can I mentioned I'm um, have to make sure I put them in the description so you can take a look at them and possibly get something out of it other than that I'm gonna end it right here